All right. Uh, so yeah, Eric ICX on the left side, of, and um, Dan Sushi on the right. Eric ICX, hard to tell what play style he's using right now. Looks like maybe tapping. We'll have to see as uh, we get closer to the to level 29. I'll peek out the curtain. Where yeah. you'll be able to see more clearly. And the, the names when you get a chance, please. Oh God. Uh, okay, who's player one? Who's player two? Uh, it's player one is Eric, and there we go. Eric Thank versus you. Dan Sushi. Here we go. I'm being very inept at broadcasting. Sorry. You're doing. You're doing great. It's you're all, doing great. We're making, making it all happen. Well, Devin all is happen. Tetris for Dan. I'm just the guy who presses the buttons. <laughs> all right. So Eric ICX currently playing perfect. No burns so far. Uh, it takes the first burns uh, of the game. Safe double. Eric stacking very safe. Dan Sushi down by one Tetris, but looking very good uh, overall, but has to create a line piece dependency. It's always tough when you have two of them going, but it's easier when you are Tetris ready. Yeah. All right, there's the eyepiece for uh, Dan Sushi, and they're clean. Nice tuck to huh? keep, keep the double well open. Keep that double well open. Dan Sushi. And Tetris there for Dan Sushi. Tetris for Eric. Eric with a one Tetris lead. Both players really clean. Here's some. This is some lovely 18 play we got going on. So um, just noticing here how uh, these uh, really good classic Tetris players are going. They build out the left side, usually higher than the right side, and then are always waiting for making adjustments because. You're not, you don't have a six piece cue like in, or, or rather four piece cue like in modern Tetris. You gotta um, take advantage of the fact that when the piece changes, you can immediately make an adjustment based on the next piece. So micro adjustments are being made all the time to optimize the stacks. And that can be the difference between, you know, scoring a max out and a 1.1 million into kill screen, which is 100,000. Quite a big difference if you're able to optimize your stacking. Yeah, you, very neck and neck match at this point. You could also use the extra scummy tactic of deliberately falling behind the opponent's pieces to see what's coming up next. That's true, and that actually is a tactic that was used by Dog Playing Tetris. Um, one of the. Uh, actually, Game Scout made a video about this tactic. Yeah, I, God, sorry. For yeah. um, <laughs> for the same piece sets playing behind the opponent, um, I used that tactic a little bit in Tetris Effect Connected. Um, I did too. It was so funny. I was just like, yeah. wait a minute. If I just wait a little bit, I'll be able to see the pieces coming up. And then Game Scout's video came. I'm like, ha ha ha! I was doing that already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You scumming before it was cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's an interesting thing because I know of a lot of players who try to like push down so they get so far ahead that it's very hard to keep up with the P sets. So it's it's like it's a weird uh, balance. So I mean I like to just sort of focus on my game most of the time and only when there's a major event like a big drought that's when I'll try to like pay attention to the opponent a little bit. Thoroughly competitive match right here. Uh, barely uh, two, uh, barely a Tetris and change difference. Actually Dan Sushi is throwing down right now has the lead over Eric ICX. I mean and that's I mean, he, he's he's taking his every advantage he can to maximize yeah. 18. Now, he's no slouch on 19, let's be clear, but it, if you have the opportunity to be efficient, especially when you're playing Eric ICX, you take every yeah. opportunity. Keep in mind, this is same piece set, so it's not like, oh, the chides of RNG will change in Eric's favor. Both players are going to get the exact same pieces, so you... The only way to catch up is to simply play more optimally than your opponent. Well, and that's that's interesting. We talked earlier about how when you have the simul, the, the the synchronized Tetris, where at the opening of a game, ooh, look at that, look at that tuck on Eric's side. Yeah. He's. It, is it possible that Eric is just you know showboating at this point, putting himself in strange situations just to show off his skills? Nah, it's, 18 doesn't really give you the opportunity to do that too much unless it's like, oh, like 
crazy buko type spins, like buko spins, but I really do think like like Dan Sushi's really been throwing down, and absolutely, Eric's Five. got a little bit of work to do. I mean, we, we're 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 going to see a transition that's not too far off 600k. For Dan, <laughs> yeah, which is really well done. Again, a really good situation you want to be in. Yeah, Dan Sushi has one more burn line and is stacking very patiently, burning out, uh, building out the left side, and takes the next burn. So the next uh, Tetris will transition into 19, 579. Powerful transition for Dan Sushi. Well done. Uh, almost same timing of the transition for uh, Eric ICX, who's uh, currently yeah. uh, about three Tetrises behind. Again, not a situation where you're, you know, frequently seeing Eric ICX. Nice, and Dan Sushi gets the square piece over to the left side, to and is looking super clean. To confirm, which player is which? Uh, Dan Sushi's on the right. Uh, I meant like in the camera. Okay, so that's Dan on the right. Okay, uh, Dan is oh, no. Dan is hyper tapping. Uh, the one we can't see the hands of, correct? No, no, that, that that's Eric. That's Eric. Okay, then the player sitting on the right is. Dan Sushi. Okay. Uh, then Eric is hyper tapping. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I just peeped. Got it. Eric's hyper tapping, which makes things very interesting on in terms of level twenty nine play. Oh, unfortunately, Dan Sushi is unable to survive and tops out with six hundred twenty five thousand. So Eric just needs a couple more burns. A really great showing for oh. Dan Sushi. And Eric is good for game number one. GG. Oof. Very, very hard fought. Very hard fought. That was an exciting way to start this one. Yeah, really hard fought game. <laughs> Dan Sushi was on max out pace that whole time, for it, sure. That it, was exactly what you said. The caught max out. It could happen. Uh, it really could. That's what I'm hoping for, man. Yeah. That's what I'm hoping for. That would be amazing. That would be quite a spectacular turn of events. All right, and we're getting started. Rolling right into the next one, or hyper-tapping right into the next game, as the case may be. I'm sorry, who won game one? Uh, Eric. Eric. Okay. Um... So Eric took game number one. Dan Sushi trying to even things out. Dan Sushi's 18 play looking really good. I'm really liking the way Dan Sushi stacks. Very patient um, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. taking the burns at Ke the right time. Ke keeping that, that, that sloping, sloping left at, at all costs yeah. and getting Tetris ready appropriate times. Oh, Eric is a uh, little, bit, little bit stuck in traffic. Yeah. Had a couple of mist drops high up and had a little bit of uh, cleaning to do, but is able to burn it out. It's, and a, it's a line burst enabling a great deal of setup, but always frustrating when you can't use them to score. Yeah, for sure. But we're both both players clean, and we're getting Tetris is back and forth. Uh, the, the, the necks are flying. The <laughs> necks are flying. <laughs> Tetris for Dan Sushi, uh, 118,000 to 119,000. Yeah, really close. Uh, I mean, like, this is... Ooh, nice! Dirty Tetris for Dan Sushi to keep the efficiency. Absolutely. Um, Dan Sushi takes the triple into the Tetris. 171,000, Eric ICX, Tetris ready, into the Tetris. Actually, Eric is slightly behind in line, so could see that strategy being employed of looking for the droughts. It and could be, but we're not really seeing too much. Uh, yeah. I, 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 don't have, I don't have the piece. Uh, I can actually pull the statistics on this. Yeah. Uh, it looks like there's not really a huge disparity in pieces. 20, yeah. 20 line pieces for... Uh, for Dan. Ooh, missed drops for Eric there. But yeah, pretty reasonable RNG for both sides. All right, Eric with a lot of cleanup now. This is Dan Sushi's opportunity to make a comeback here and even out this game. Dan Sushi, Tetris ready, just needs a long bar and it will be a tie game. Keeping it super clean. And here it is, Tetris for Eric. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a tie game. Virtually neck and neck between both players. 
I mean, Dan Sushi still has a cleaner board. It's, it's, you know, a quarter of a Tetris difference at this point. Really, just a couple lines. Ooh. Ooh. And that's a th th that that's a rough rough moment to have your well covered. Yeah, that's some oh, nasty no. delayed Dan. burns. Oh no. Dan. Ah. And Eric with this Tetris is going to take the game. So it's now 2 to 0 in Eric ICX's favor. It's okay. Uh, Dan still has a chance in the uh, in the lo in the losers bracket, I think. Uh, I think this, we this. got one more game. Best of five. Oh. Best of five. Oh, best of five in the semis. Still got another game, uh, another win that Eric needs. Of mm -hmm. course, Dan Sushi still can reverse sweep. Could I mean, get a reverse sweep from Dan Sushi again. His history, history in the making. Remember the time when Jonas beat Eric ICX at CTWC? Man, long I didn't time ago. expect that to happen. The, that 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 was the 2020, yeah. Yeah, I I I, I thought for, for I the, thought for, Eric... for the bracket reset. Yeah. No, I I I, I watched that. I actually watched uh, some of those games recently because. Uh, uh, somebody put out a video. I actually I should look up the creator's name. It was a, a Jonas. A oh, the mini, Jonas tribute. The Jonas tribute documentary. Yeah, I saw that. It was real. That was so good. Uh, yeah, no, but uh, well, well put together. And I mean, you know, the the man's man has a story that is definitely worth telling. Mm. Um, but I, I remember having gone back and watched some of uh, those games uh, you know, uh, at post twenty twenty one. And yeah. the, the, those are, you know, the man's last CTWC run had some absolutely stellar moments. Yeah, it I did. mean, go, go, going up against Tough and, you know, knowing he wasn't going to be able to catch but pulling out all the stops. Yeah, oh, my gosh. He made that set so close. That, that set could have gone either way, honestly. Mm -hmm. Every game was just, like, won by a single Tetris, aside from the two early top outs. But yeah, I mean, and pulling off the bracket reset, uh, he almost pulled off the bracket reset. Yeah, just wild. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, in this game at the moment, Eric is actually uh, pulling a little bit ahead. Uh, showing off that sloping built out left again, very much in the manner of Jonas Neubauer. <laughs> Solidly. Solidly clean. Lean on both sides. And... Again, pretty solid distribution. No, yeah. no one being... No, no one is either being, you know, horrendously screwed or, or, or immaculately blessed by RNG. Yeah. Um... Yeah, Dan just having a slowdown. Uh, Eric has quite a large lead here, and Eric also with a slight slowdown, but this this is looking like alternating burns shelves for Dan Sushi, which mm -hmm. just basically means he's having to place his pieces on the, all the way to the left and all the way to the right just to clean lines, and these are just not friendly pieces, just continuing to suffer right now. It's a bit of a struggle, I mean... And it's a little bit high to try and get dirty at this point. Yeah, it a could lot happen. Of catching up to do. It could happen. And not not a Tetris, but that's that's clean. Opens up the well and closes down the well. Yeah. Such is life. Discipline to go for the split double on Dan Sushi's yeah, side. Yeah, well done. Great, great dig. Um, finally out, but down by over a hundred thousand. It's a slog, but you know we 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 have already seen chase downs in this very event. Yeah, we have seen a lot of chase downs. Um, but Eric doesn't look like anything's gonna stop right now. Oop, oh, there you go. We got a diving board eyepiece miss drop. So we're gonna have to see some interesting burns to clear this out. And there it is. There are the burns. Opening, uh, opening up a little bit of an opportunity for Dan. Yeah.
staying ready. Yeah, the thing is with Eric and hyper tapping, he Eric is known before being a roller as one of the fastest hyper tappers. So, and he still seems to have some of that speed, which is going to make him pretty good on 19 and even 29. Nice, nice discipline really? safety triple from Dan. This is a long drought we're in at this long point. Long drought, so Dan Sushi is going to have the burns, but does the burns correctly and is able to get the Tetris. Tetris for Eric. Dan Sushi, oh no, he covered the well. Ho holding the lead to... Uh, just just over a hundred thousand it would be it would be it would be a run it would be a run we're not we're not quite seeing the pace that we did of the previous game yeah but uh eric is just looking at the piece statistics we have very few l pieces this game which could have an effect on um the ability to stack the l piece is one of the most important pieces for classic tetris and here we go. And Come on. with a really Where's tall the stack. Bar? Gets the triple into the Tetris. Great um, uh, stack management. Able to create an accommodating stack regardless of being Oof. very high up. And Dan Sushi transitions 378. But I mean, the most important thing was being able to get your board ready for yeah. that transition at that point. Yeah. 378 to 511. Yeah. It is... It's going to be a run. It's going to be a run. All right. Eric Tetris ready. Gets the L piece over to uh, maintain the readiness. Is, uh, Tetris for Eric. Dan going to try and maintain a Quaid well? Nope, there's the transfer. Oh, Ooh, setting up the a bits. Unfortunate um, oh, that's unfortunate miss that's... skill stop there. He needs a bail. He needs the bailed long bar. Gets the long bar over to the right side, but it has a lot of digging to do and had nowhere oh. to put the T piece, and that's going to be it. And Eric ICX takes the third game and gets the sweep. A very hard, a very, very hard fought. I mean, yeah. hard fought indeed. The, 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 there were no tremendous skill issues that resulted in the top outs that yeah. happened there. It was those; those are things that could have happened to anybody. Yeah. A lot of painful droughts, though, from my from my yeah, perspective. For sure. There were some definitely a couple droughts that were a lot longer than you hope to see in a tournament yeah. setting. Certainly. All right. Uh, next in the winter settings, Oop is uh, ta taking it, t t getting tagged out. Uh, joining in for the winter semis versus Opox. And I'm gonna hold down the fort. And if anybody wants to join me, well, don't worry, I can talk. Excellent. Happy to have you. <laughs>